Okay, okay, the GoFundMe, let me, let me start with the GoFundMe account. I was going to start a business, you know, selling clothes and refurbishing clothes and stuff like that. I was going to get my, my cousin to help me with it. Right. And, well, some fan, three of my, my six or seven fans kept saying, hey, just go create your phone account, see how it goes, and, I, and stuff like that. I was like, okay, I, I, I debated about it, they kept sending it, they kept sending it, they kept sending it, and I'm like, okay, I'll do it and see how it works. Which them fans did, there was only five people, where people were cussing me out, get a job, you're a lazy bum, you know, your husband makes money, your husband, my husband don't make great, great, great money. And well, the essential, or the oil thing, back on the oil, I never said anything about Ebola. It can, the lady that I got this with, um, she told me about it. She said that she, when she started using it, she didn't go to the doctor and use it for a couple months. She didn't go to the doctor for about a year. And didn't get Ebola. No, <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> There you go, <laughs> clinical trial. Yeah. But you did all of this because you say your mother robbed your trust fund account. Mama's name is on every single account. It's a head, head owner of the account. So she can withdraw, take money out, give money, she can do any of that. I'm at the bottom because I signed it when I was a minor. Your lawyer sent a letter yes. asking for information about this account. It said, I have met with Anna as it relates to her trust fund. I am requesting that you provide our office with the following. Copies of any and all contracts or other writings with TLC. Copies of the trust documents creating the trust for the benefit of Anna. Copies of bank statements for the last 24 months from any bank accounts held on behalf of Anna Shannon. Itemization of withdrawals from such accounts for the last 24 months. You've got a lawyer that's asking for all this money and yes. they said, please respond within like eight days or 14 days or something like that, right? Yes. No response? No. So I called the bank in Milledgeville and I asked them, say, hey, is there any account underneath my name? They said, yeah, there's an account on the internet. There is a savings account with $17.89 in it. So I'm like, okay, what happened here? So I called my mother. She said, well, I moved all of it. I took all of it because all the girls said, you know what, just give her her money, just give it, give it, give it to her. Well, she said, I'm sending whatever left. She sent me a picture of it. She said, this is all this was left in your account, $15,400. She was supposed to send it the next day. Well, she said she sent it. No letter came. Never got anything. Never anything. got anything. Okay. Well, um, Anna and Sandra have accused Mama June of stealing Anna's trust fund. Let's hear from Mama June what she had to say about that. You know, Anna has alleged that you have yes. rifled her trust fund, and she had a $30,000 trust fund that you rifled. At one point, she said you used the money to buy a car for Mark. You've yeah. said that that's absolutely not true. I gave her $400 a month. I didn't have to give her that until she turned 21. And then I've got a cashier's check I can show you that I sent her, which was the rest of the money in her account. I never got that check. Listen, there are records. There's a document trail here. Mm -hmm. You follow the money, and a, and a lawyer, they get a subpoena, they can get a court order and they can get the documents and then compel the bank to come up with these records. Let your attorney pursue this with a court order so you have accountability of, of what is yours and what is not. 